two teams heading for what's sure to grab the interest of football fans around the world. Total coverage coming up next on EA TV. And welcome to a game that really should have pulses racing. Every reason to believe this will be enthralling. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and ready to provide expert analysis alongside me is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Doncaster Rovers, and they take on Brighton. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods. But it's... Can he take advantage? Well, I don't think that effort remotely qualifies as respectable. And the reason it's off target, because the technique was really poor on that occasion. That's not a good effort. And on the back of that particular challenge, will the referee let the matter rest there? Olaru, and he read it well, intercepting it. Can he give them the lead? Oh, keeper dealt with it. Playing it short. And Varela with it. Well, just fractionally wide. Good strike. Well, some pretty big news coming through from one of the other games. Let's hear about it from Alex Scott. Yes, it was a penalty for Liverpool. The execution was everything. Top corner, no goalkeeper was stopping that. It's now one all with 12 minutes played. Alex with the info as ever. Well, it's always a positioning exercise at this stage of what has been an exciting season. And they've got to both be thinking about the possibility of the Europa League, Stuart. Well, a place in Europe is their aim for both these sides now. A win for either side will put them in a good position. Let's just hope we get an entertaining game. Now, what can they do from here? Must take the lead here. Superb defending and saved by the keeper. Now can they counter clinically? And space to attack. Magnificent defending. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. So a throw in here. And what can they do to stop him running at them? This looks more than decent. And quick thinking defensively. Intense pressure. Counter-attacking chance. Not breaking developments at Elland Road. There's been a goal there, I understand. Alex Scott. It's a goal for Leeds United. They're back level. It's one all with 32 Oh, minutes. hang on, Alex. Big chance here. In it goes. The opening goal in this contest. Well, here it is again, and you have to say the 1-2 completely opens up the defensive structure. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. So, underway again here. 1-0 the score. Well, Alex was in full flight. Alas, we had to cut her off just moments ago. For clarification, Leeds did score in that game. And it's now even Steven, 1-1. March, Sonny March, tremendous defending to stonewall him. Well, maybe a good position from which to counter. Can they use their pace? Cuts it back. Diakite. 
And the timing was perfect. Ball one. Teammates available. And a crucial intervention inside the box. So one minute of stoppage time. That's what the officials have said. March. And so it is, the first half story has been written. Well, truth be told, he's only had a very limited influence on this game, Stuart. Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. And with that, the move comes to an end, and a goal kick to follow now. And that's an important intervention. Just a reminder, we have more absorbing action from the Premier League coming your way here on EA TV. It's Doncaster Rovers facing Crystal Palace. Well, that should be a really good game between... Oh, Stewart's a chance! And it's a goal, level again. What a match this is turning out to be. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And then what a finish. That's been hit with such power and pace. The keeper has no time to react. It's a brilliant strike. Just hearing something has happened at Molyneux. There's been a goal there, Alex Scott. It's a second goal for Wolves. They've pulled one back and now trail by one with 54 minutes played. The game has been fascinating so far, Derek. Alex with the info as ever. And the referee sees that as a foul. Free kick given. Here it is now, a substitution. Cross fired over. Well, threat over for now. Clear foul play, and as a result, a free kick forthcoming. Dario Solaru. He's waiting for you. Wonderful chance, and a fantastic diving save. Well, this is a big moment, and don't these fans know it? Short corner it is. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Just a reminder, we have more absorbing action from the Premier League coming your way here on EA TV. It's Brighton and Hove Albion taking on Newcastle United. Stopped a surefire goal. Well, breaking developments at Elland Road. There's been a goal there, I understand. Alex Scott. United. They're back in this now with 65 minutes played. Many thanks, Alex. Olaru. Good technique displayed. Takes aim. And that's a very good parry. Well, you sense it's just a matter of time before they do score, Derek. They've been piling on the pressure now and really should be ahead in this one. And they will make the change now. Hansko. 15 minutes left for play. Moving the ball nicely, but can they forge ahead? Hernandez. Well, no way through. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. And they'll regard that as a very disappointing end to the move. Well, I'm hearing there's been a goal in the Liverpool game. Alex Scott can fill us in. It's another goal for Crystal Palace. It's all level again at 2-2 with just over 10 minutes left to play. Thanks for the update, Alex. 
Only five minutes left for play and tension galore with the teams locked together. Still pushing for a winner, but they dealt with the threat first. And moving the ball forward with genuine purpose here. Can they forge ahead? Oh, a brilliantly timed tackle when it really mattered. Breaking at pace. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. Making progress. And there it is, the full-time whistle. Well, they can't be separated. And goals very much part of the equation. Stuart, as always, interested to get your final analysis. Well, Derek, it was a really good game between two evenly matched teams. Both had their moments, but neither side really deserved to lose this one.